So hello, in this short video I'm going to be uh, performing buffer holds in test. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This test uh, is used to indicate small amounts of urea and ammonia. So it usually is performed with basic solution of sodium hypochlorite and some kind of uh, phenol. So I'm going to use uh, sodium salicylate because phenol is rather toxic and I don't really want to deal with it uh, and it works just as well and I'm going to use hypochlorite bleach and I'm going to also use urea this reaction produces a pretty nice compound which is also a dye it's called endophenol in this case it's not going to be endophenol but rather it's derivative with the carboxylic acid groups attached. So I'm just going to scoop some sodium salicylate into this uh, vial. Okay, so that's enough. We don't need very much. And now I'm just going to pour some bleach. Now I'm going to drop in some urea. So yeah, you can definitely see the green color developing. It's quite pretty. And I'm looking for a way to separate this dye into, you know, powder, which I can add up to my organic dyes collection. So I'm just going to swirl it. Pretty nice. Right? And pretty simple reaction, I think. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to convert it into, to, into a free acid. You know, just uh, from. Because it, right now it's in a salt form. So, I'm just going to add some citric acid to it. And as you can see, nice color change. Let me just. And now it's pretty orange color. So it's pretty nice colorful chemistry. And that's pretty much it. I will update you when I find a way to extract it and make this dye on a larger scale. And yeah, that's it. See ya.